What is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City Foyne. Today I'll be doing the best class setup for the STG here for Call of Duty Vanguard. So if you guys have not played the game yet, this gun is for sure one of the strongest one in the entire game. I've been using this gun since the alpha version of this game and I know it was only champion hill for the alpha, but when I got this gun on rotation, I mean, it was very accurate with any type of attachment and I was really convinced it might be the strongest gun in the entire game. So, um... In the beta, I tested it out and it was still consistent. It was super accurate. It had, to, it doesn't have any type of type of recoil, and the damage is very consistent too. So now that it's in the full game, I'm telling you right now, this gun is one of the strongest ones in the entire game compared to the NZ and compared to the MP9, compared to all these other ones that is considered the meta of the game. So uh, the STG, the way I have it set up, I was making sure it works for long range combat, all the way down to short range combat. You guys should be able to see that in my streams where I'm super consistent and when it comes down to accuracy and aiming and the damage is just it's there all, at all times you can kill people within three to five bullets and it's just really resourceful it really saves you on a lot of bullets so you can take down a large large amount of enemies within one mag so um the way I have it set up, I mean, the barrel, the VDD 760mm 05B, this one really helps out a lot because it increases the damage range, which means the bullet drop is not, it's not going to be like lowering the damage at all. So it's going to be also highly accurate and also controllable when it comes down to shooting the gun. So it's not only increases the damage range, but also it keeps your accuracy there. You know, it's always going to be accurate towards the enemy's bodies, which I like. So um, you're going to be able to shoot people from long range combat. It kind of almost feels like a sniper with this thing. And also another thing that kind of helps this gun out for close range combat, because I know this barrel says that it's no good for close range. Uh, the way this other attachment helps it, you know, it just increases the damage even further. So the thing that I'm talking about is the magazine, the 30 Russian short, 30 round mags. It increases the damage, bullet penetration, bullet velocity, and range. So not only your barrel increases the range, but also the magazine, it increases the range even further. Not only is this a good combo right here, but also with the addition of proficiency, uh, the one that's called vital, the vital one increases the area for critical hits. So you can shoot any parts of the body and kind of almost treat it like a headshot. So with all these additions, I know you guys are going to say like, well, Joe, you know, the magazine does increase, you know, the, the recoil and also the accuracy is supposed to be ugly as hell. You know, it's not that accurate. Like it is accurate with these other attachments that I'm going to add, which is the strife angled, which increases the aiming stability and the accuracy at the same time every time you move and maintains your accuracy on the enemy's body. So another thing that kind of helps it out is the stipled grip. The stipled grip increases the initial recoil and also the recoil recovery. So when you see an enemy just like go towards you and they back away, the recoil is always, always going to recover and you're going to start from zero again you know the first bullet is always going to be a direct hit because the initial recoil is being increased here so not only with this combo of the strife angled and staple grip will work for accuracy but also the constant tactical which also increases the initial recoil and the initial accuracy so this combination is pretty deadly right here already the accuracy is always going to be also always going to be like very very on point and also the the recoil is going to be zero like it's going to be a direct hit at all times not only that does uh, the constant tactical increase the recoil uh, i mean the accuracy sorry but also your walking movement speed and your walking steadiness increases by a lot and also another attachments that are kind of like a plus for me is the MX silencer. The MX silencer increases the accuracy even further and also maintains your stealth. Another thing is the ammo type. I use the FMJ rounds just people just in case people hide behind crates and tiny walls. I mean, you know how people are. People are camping, you want to take them out, right? You want to shoot through the wall. So the FMJ rounds helps it out a lot. Do not use the incendiary ones, even though it's kind of like fancy and stuff, but those things are not going to shoot through the wall, so I suggest to use the FMJ rounds. Another big plus that I do have is the optic. The optic kind of increases the accuracy, but I cannot really prove that. I mean, it's just an optic sight, but maybe there is a bonus for that. So this is the optic sight that I use. It's the 2.5X custom, so um it's it's uh it's really clear for me i like this site a lot so um you'll see me use it during, during my live streams and stuff so so that is it guys that's my best class setup for the stg hopefully you guys like it hopefully you guys use it and abuse it because it is the strongest gun in the entire game right now so that is it guys leave a like tell me what's up and i'll see you guys for more call of duty vanguard
Am I recruited now or yeah, no, not just bad enough? Shit, bro. Nah, you're no, you're ass, not bro. Is that good enough or no? Oh you're on my team. I was like what? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like the STG that much ago. So much for shotgun boys. <laughs> 